Good morning. We're here at the Sterling Heights Nature Center in Sterling Heights, Michigan, along with the Stevenson High School AP class, who will be participating in the Ponds for Kids program at the Nature Center. Today, they will be installing a fully functioning ecosystem pond at the Nature Center. So let's go take a look inside and see what they're up to. We're here in the atrium. And they've got an existing pond that they, they house some box turtles. There's all kinds of things in this atrium. There's salamanders, they bring in some quail, um, a lot of natural stuff going on here, all native to Michigan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in um, the pond. This is a preformed pond, and we're gonna build a, a biological ecosystem pond. We'll have a waterfall on this end, do a skimmer down on this end, we'll pop that. Um, preform pond out. We'll rock it in just like we do outside, but we're going to do this in January. And here with us today is, uh, is Brenda. She's a facilitator here at Sterling Heights Nature Center. And Brenda, you're going to be bringing in um, what, what school is going to be involved? Hopefully it'll be Stevenson High School. Okay. And we're really excited to have you guys come out and recreate a new pond for us with a waterfall. Um, it's going to be really exciting and we're going to do it in January, and I'm glad to have Dan with Putz Ponds um, create this great atmosphere for us. And for those that are going to come visit and look at our new pond and enjoy it. Yep. And of always, there's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Because the students are getting credit for this project, attendance is necessary. Here, Connor, a.k.a. number three, taking attendance in the morning. One of the th first things that needed to be done inside the atrium was we had to get rid of the old preformed pond. Here you'll see the students working together, lifting up the existing pond. Then they realized there was still water in it, so they had to tip it over and tip it sideways to get it out the door. They took all the rest of the components out. They were getting the area ready for the new pond. Instructor Brian, what are we doing here today, Brian? Right here.
What is one thing that you took away from the Ponds for Kid program? I learned that anything beautiful takes a lot of hard work. So we've got the finished pro project here from the Ponds for Kids program. I think they did a great job. The AP class of Stevenson High School in Sterling Heights. So let's find out from our facilitators here at the Nature Center what they think of it. There's Brenda and Tom. And Tom. Love it. Um, it was such a positive outcome. Uh, the kids were super excited. Um, they can't wait to see the whole finished product and uh, they worked really hard on it. Um, they learned a lot from it. It was a, a great success with the um, biology AP class from Stevenson High School. It would be, really, be really good for our citizens from Sterling Heights to see how we can adapt to nature and how nature can be seen um, more positively out in our park system that we have here at Dodge Park and here at the Nature Center. Perfect. Thank you. How will the new pond benefit the Nature Center? I think it'll give people visiting a really great perspective as to what's to come with how beautiful it is. What is one thing you took away for the Ponds for Kids program? Um, one thing we took away was that it wasn't just an easy project, it was a lot of hard work and we learned how to teamwork and we learned the biological factors of how to make a pond. So. Great. Um, how will this benefit the visitors of the Nature Center? I think it would make the Nature Center a better place and it will draw more people in. That's pretty much it. How will the pond benefit the visitors of the Nature Center? I feel it will give, you know, it will attract more people since it's such a nice thing to have. How will this new pond benefit the visitors of the Nature Center? Visitors that are coming in to see the Nature Center are going to be able to see all the beautiful wildlife that are living within the pond, and they're going to be able to see all the beautiful rocks, and just it just is a serene place where you can just relax and look at all the beautiful things in it.